This is the game of Hex. This is a really wonderful two-person strategy game. It appears to be pretty simple at first, but as you play you realize that it's actually pretty complex. The object of the game is to simply make a continuous chain from one side of the board to the other. You'll notice that one side is marked black and the other side is marked white. The game was originally introduced by Piat Hein, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, right around the time of World War II. He was also the inventor of the Soma Cube, which is a pretty interesting three-dimensional block puzzle. Later, the game was independently invented by John Nash. You probably remember him from the movie A Beautiful Mind. Apparently, it became popular by the students playing it on the bathroom floor, and they called it John which may have been in reference to the fact that they played it in the John, or it could have been because it was John Nash who invented the game. In either case, this is a wonderfully addictive and simple game, and I highly recommend that you make a board. There are probably as many ways to make a game board for Hex as there are ways that you can play the game itself. And I can't tell you how many different ways I considered making the board. I would love to have a beautifully crafted wooden board, but that seems like an awful lot of work, so I may make one in the future. But for this video, I've come up with a pretty simple method so that I can get started playing the game immediately. The most common game board is 11 by 11. Some people recommend a larger game board, but honestly, the amount of combinations possible in this one is incredible, so I don't think you need to make a bigger board. I also made a really nice high resolution copy of this 11 by 11 template which will be available to you in the description. I'm going to start by cutting 121 of these little pieces of PVC. Be sure that the inside diameter of your PVC isn't too big so that a marble falls through, but also you don't want the marble to stick past the outside diameter of the PVC. Cutting these one at a time will take forever. So let's take a look at what I did to the miter saw to enable me to cut four at a time. The first thing that I did was clamped on a zero clearance fence to the existing miter saw fence. This upper piece is screwed to the fence from the back side. You'll notice that there's a space underneath my stop. That's so when I slide the piece of PVC to the stop, sawdust doesn't get trapped underneath and alter the size. Now it's just a matter of gluing them all together with some PVC cement. I'm working on a piece of glass to keep the bottom nice and flat. What I've learned so far is that I like installing them two at a time whenever possible. It's kind of tricky to keep this outside edge nice and clean from the glue squeeze out, but let me show you what I came up with in order to do that. The clear glue doesn't show up on the video very well, so I'll illustrate the point with this piece of wax. What I do is apply it to one side and then I roll the other piece onto it, and it leaves this side nice and clean and it builds up the excess on the back side.
there's a few more quick things I'd like to mention about this project. You can see that there are sheets of paper underneath my glass in places. These act as shims that help keep the glass nice and flat. You also may be wondering about the strength of the bond. That's what this dust is for. It's left over from when I palm sanded it, and if you mix it with the PVC glue, it makes kind of a two-part epoxy that you can use to apply in the weaker parts, like here where this piece only has two glue connections that hold it together. Well, here's the finished board. And now we're going to play a game for you. We had quite a few practice sessions off camera, but whoever wins this match will be immortalized as the champion on the YouTube video. Go ahead. Looks like I might be champion. I like this board though, but I still think I want to make a wooden one. Not tonight. Yay! Thanks a lot for watching.